Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video. And if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button. As well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about edge lighting on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. And I'm gonna give you a couple of the small differences between this version and last year's model. Now moving over into the setting of the edge lighting, you can pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon and go to display. Since it is dealing with the display, you're gonna scroll down to where it says edge screen, since it is along the edges. And right there is edge lighting. Now this is multiple different steps. If you wanna to go to it a little bit faster, pull down the notifications panel with two fingers instead of one because if you pull it down with one finger you have to pull it down twice so it's just a little bit quicker by going with two fingers and then you're going to move over to where it says edge lighting where you can press and hold and bam now you're inside of those settings a little bit quicker and you can see here this one just worked i just got a little notification and i have it underneath the glitter option which to me looks almost more like a rainbow now going for the comparison between the Galaxy S9 Plus and the Galaxy Note 8, you can see here that this main screen here is pretty similar. You do have on the very top the option for quick reply, which means that when your phone is face down, it's going to light up, but you just place your finger on the fingerprint reader and it's going to send back a little quick response. Now what I would usually suggest is by going inside of there and right over here just says call back later. Um, usually I would probably put in the word right here, aisle. So then it's not a little rude to say I'll call back later and then this way you can just go right on back and it is saved. Now this is where you have it to where the screen is on. You can also have it to when the screen is off or you can make it as always. And I usually always have mine set up as always because I love checking it out and looking at it. Now on the very bottom, this is where you can manage the applications. What applications do you want this thing to work with? So you can actually go through all the different applications. You can turn them on, you can turn them off. You can have every single app even do it as well if you want to. And then this is where you're gonna see a bunch of the different changes. So here's the advanced settings on the old version. And then here's the edge lighting style, which makes just a little bit more sense. So right over here, you have your effect, transparency and width. Here's your effect, width and transparency. So you can either have it as a basic color or you can have it as on over here, the multicolor, which is gonna have different multicolors in there. You'll have kind of a glowing effect and then also glitter, which the one I'm gonna use is glitter. It's pretty much a rainbow and it looks pretty cool. Over here, you have your option for basic color which you can also get this thing to preview your app color so whatever app you're using it'll be that color here is a custom color which i do like the color green um, but on both of them here underneath transparency and also narrow you want to make sure that your transparency is going to be extremely low because you don't want it to be transparent which is why this one over here is also low underneath width you want it to be as fat as possible so it doesn't blend in with what is going on so you want to make sure that your width is going to be wide you wanna make sure your transparency is going to be low. And then you just wanna go over here and what effect would you like to use? And so once everything is completely set up between your effect, transparency, and width, once you click on one of those, this is what your phone is going to look like when you get a notification. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. It's very simple, it's very basic, but I'll tell you what, a lot of people love the edge lighting feature. And I know a few people on the older devices stated that sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't work. I don't really know. You gotta make sure that you're looking at all your different settings. You wanna make sure that it's not transparent. You wanna make sure it's not narrow. But if you did everything I mentioned in this video, hopefully it should work and it's going to work anytime you get Get any type of notification unless if you went into your settings and you somehow turned off all notification styles or any type of banners or anything like that then that right there might be stopping it especially if this is kind of used as a pop-up so if you turned off your pop-up option then maybe this might not work just as a small little heads up because i have shot a similar video and a lot of people ask me the questions but i'll tell you what this little feature is definitely loved the moment you start using it so hope that you guys have liked this video make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up also hit on subscribe if you have not subscribed already you can do that by hitting below the video or hitting this little red circle right over here make sure you share this video with your friends and family your social media sites and outside of that i'll see you guys later